What's up guys, it's Dan here, and you see this pretty little bottle of Plav Summer Kond up on the TV? Well, uh, that video should already be out. <laughs> but uh, I'm being really nice to myself today, and boy, I'm having a hell of a time. Uh, last night, I shot Amanda's take on this and put it on the computer, and then this morning I got up and shot my review of it. And I'm getting ready, you know, and I uploaded that on the computer, and uh, I thought at that time... What a brilliant idea it would be to go ahead and clean stuff up, straighten stuff up on my computer. <laughs> and when I went to go and make the video of the review, I quickly realized that I deleted my entire review of this on there. <laughs> that was awfully nice of me, huh? So I had to go back and shoot the whole review from scratch all over again. And I was excited, you know, I'm finally done. I went over to the computer, you know, to make the video. And then I quickly realized that in the process of cleaning my computer, I deleted Amanda's take as well. So that was really nice of me to do, huh? <laughs> so this review is going to have to wait till Amanda gets home tonight and I can shoot her take again. So I thought I would just do a quick shout out uh, to a couple folks out there and talk about Secretions Magnifique a little bit. Now, what could I have to say about that? I don't know, but we'll find out. First, uh, I would like to shout out uh, The Sick Man 1977, a fellow reviewer out there, uh, new to the game, and uh, I will have his link below. If you have not checked him out, I thoroughly suggest that you do. Uh, what this man brings to the community is uh, just awesomeness, you know. I believe that he has had his nose around many fragrances and must have been doing this for a long time because the knowledge that he brings and uh, the wide variety of fragrances that he talks about on his channel is awesome. A lot of stuff I have never heard about. So with every video that I watch from him, I always end up learning something and that's great. And one thing that I really appreciate about his channel is that he brings a kind of quirky humor to it as well, which I love, you know, making fragrances just fun and lighthearted, the way it should be, you know, that's great. And he also has uh, lots of different ideas and lots of different videos always coming up, and he's doing giveaways now, and he's giving away great stuff, so uh, his channel is thoroughly fun. And I gotta tell you, man, I have no idea how in the heck you pump out so many videos. I don't know how in the hell you have time for that, <laughs> man, but that's great. He's always got new videos up like every day sometimes two or three shapers <laughs> so uh, if you have not checked him out I would stop by his channel for sure now the second shout out I would like to give is to a website called the cologne review .com, and I will have that link below as well uh, I'm not affiliated with him at all he's just a subscriber of mine and uh, asked me to do a shout out of uh, his website and I always love to do that you know like to share the love uh, like to get other people looking other ways, you know. And his website is cool, you know, lots of stuff on there. He's got reviews of fragrances on there. He's got like top work scents and green scents and just all kinds of stuff on that website. Just a uh, very well made website at that. So uh, I thoroughly suggest that you stop by and uh, check out his website as well. Now, as far as uh, Secretions Magnifique. Uh, you know, one thing that I forgot to bring up in my five worst fragrances video is uh, I was pretty sure that someone was going to come along and say, what? Secretions not in the, the five worst fragrances of 2010? And actually, that one would not be. Uh, if you manage to make it through the top, which... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of interesting to me. The top I find interesting, you know, not something I would wear every day, uh, but it's definitely interesting. <laughs> but if you manage to make it through that, uh, you will find yourself in a very nice dry down. Just a nice, aquatic, fresh dry down. What that turns into, on my skin anyways, is great. You know, I love that. And uh, another reason why that wouldn't be in my worst five is just because of 
what that bottle brings, you know, what that fragrance brings. I would love to have that bottle just for a conversation piece at dinner parties or something, you know. The, oh, the fun that you can have with that fragrance is great. And the fun that I did have with it, it was truly awesome, you know. Uh, just buttloads of fun with that fragrance. <laughs> For sure. If you have not had an opportunity to check it out and you put it on your skin and you don't like it, wait for the dry down just to see what that turns into. But uh, that's it, guys. And tonight I will have my review of Poivre Samarkand up. I hope. <laughs> but we'll see you guys uh, tonight.